When you install WooCommerce on your WordPress site, it automatically creates some default pages for your new store, including this shop catalog page, which I admit is pretty nice. You can see all your products and there are add to cart buttons, but this is not an efficient layout for stores that sell to regular customers. For shoppers who want to add multiple products to their cart, they usually have to visit each product page individually to select their quantity or variations, and then go back to this shop page and repeat these steps until they have all their items before finally checking out. Instead of all that, you could use a table layout, which comes with variations and add to cart buttons all on a single page. Customers can add as many items as they'd like with these checkboxes and add all of their items to the cart at once. The button even tells you how much your total will be and how many items are being added. This layout comes from Barn 2's WooCommerce product table plugin, and it can be used to replace your normal shop pages like I've done here, or it can be added anywhere on your site that you want to list sets of products. And as you've seen, it makes it really fast and easy for customers to add multiple items to their cart from a single page. You can find a link to the plugin in the description below, where you can either purchase a copy for your own site or test out a live demo of the plugin, which you can use to follow this tutorial today. So the first step in our tutorial is to simply install and activate the plugin on your site. After purchasing the WooCommerce product table plugin, you'll get an email with the zip file and a product key for activation. In the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new plugin, and upload the plugin zip file that you just downloaded. Click install and then activate. This will launch the setup wizard where you can activate your license key. Then it'll guide you through the process for setting up your first table. You could also launch the table builder at any time to repeat these steps and create additional tables. To do this, go to products, product tables, and click on add new. Now, I'm not too concerned about showing you every single setting that's available in this plugin. If that's what you're interested in, you can watch this video, which I've added to the cards on YouTube. The main settings you need to choose are the location of the product table, which you choose in the first step. For example, I'll display it on a shop page. Then in the next step, I can choose which of those pages I want to use. You may want to add remove or reorder some of the columns. For example, I'm going to add a total column to show prices based on quantity. In the add to cart settings, I'll choose to show cart buttons and checkboxes together. And I want quantity pickers as well. Next, we want to show variations as dropdown lists to keep everything tidy. The rest of the settings are entirely up to your preference and can be ignored for now. Okay, that's all set up for now. And recall that I chose for my table to replace my main shop page. So let's take a look at that now and see how it will look for my customers. So let's say they wanna add this beanie here. They can choose this option here, or they can simply press the add to cart button. You can add multiple quantities of items and the total will be displayed here. So customers will know how much they're spending on each individual product for that quantity. And further down here, I can even choose the different variations within the table and add multiple items to the cart again. Scrolling down to the bottom, I can add all five items for this price. So there you go. It's really quick and easy for customers to create complex orders from a single page using a product table like this. Now, if you're looking for a more unique way to display your product variations, you can use the WooCommerce product options plugin and integrate it with the WooCommerce product table plugin. You can see here are some examples of how WooCommerce product options looks when integrated with the table. Here, for example, we have a price calculator, which will calculate the price based on the dimensions that I'm adding into these boxes. And once again, we can add multiple quantities of products and add them to cart all from a single page. To learn more about how to edit product tables and modify the main plugin settings, check out this video next, or click on this link to try out the plugin for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.